For the past few days, I haven't been playing Pokemon Go. Except occasionally to open the app just to see if you know, there was something next to me that spawned. I haven't gone out to parks anymore or to... I haven't gone downtown to walk the streets and collect tons and tons of Pokeballs. I haven't done a lot of the things that I started doing. Um, I was gonna uh, get a peddler's license so that I could go and legally sell refreshments to Pokemon Go players. And uh, now I'm not, it seems. Uh, and you know what? It's all because of Niantic's updates with Pokemon Go. You know, while it was broken, there and there was a lot of like server issues and stuff like that. People were figuring out how the game works, and they removed one of the features that people were working on figuring out uh, the the three step tracking, which I thought was actually an incredibly smart idea. It was also, conf however, they say that it was was confusing and did not meet our underlying product goals. But you know what? You could find Pokemon with it. You could find Pokemon with it, which was, which is what we, we were looking for. It wasn't necessarily easy, but you could do it. Now, though, it's, it's practically impossible to find whatever it is. You, you can go and walk around huge swaths of land and not find what you're looking for. Like, oh, you're looking, you're looking for that Porygon or that Starmie? Yeah, good luck. It means that it's somewhere within a 300 meter radius. You know how huge that is? A circle with 600 meters in diameter? Uh, let's see, uh... 300 meters squared uh, is, uh, let's see, 9,000 square meters times pi. Um, yeah, that's like 27,000 square meters. that you'd have to search to find and and to, to find such such a to find a pokemon searching that large of an area by the time that you've actually found it there's a good chance that it may just disappear or like may run away after you've thrown one or two pokeballs at it because that area is huge Ugh. Now, if they, the only way, I, w I also wanted to do a bug catching contest to, to start running bug catching, to give people an opportunity to go to a park, uh, catch a bunch of crappy Pokemon, pay to do so, or, you know, get access to lures for two hours, and then give out prizes for people who caught the best stuff. But now I can't do that because they got rid of the uh, locations where I caught Pokemon. So, you know, it's it's had so much opportunity. There was so much that I could do, that I could do, that they could do, that we wanted them to do. They just haven't done. Yeah, they've been working on fixing some of the glitches and the bugs, and there's a lot fewer issues being dropped now uh, for the servers and fewer issues with um, catching Pokemon and game crashing stuff like that but I think that it's actually that there's a level of functionality now that we had that we lost and you never want to tell a a, a, a huge fan base. You never want to tell 
like 50 million people, uh, by the way, were taking one of the features that was like critical to the function of the game out of the game. Oh, oh, and all those third-party apps that you've been using, you know, like PokeVision and stuff. Well, yeah, we're going to make it harder for you to use those. And, uh, yeah. And I just, I just don't, don't get it. Just don't get it. They, I know that they're working hard, but they're, it seems like their priorities on this game aren't what they should be. Or perhaps they should have waited just, I don't, I don't know, it's, so hard to judge what they've done but because i'm not there but there's so ah oh, there's so many missed opportunities here and it feels like they're working on the things that people don't care about as much like i would rather be able to have functional pokemon tracking than i would the ability to trade pokemon with other players like if that's if that's what the trade off is here, no thank you. Figure let me catch Pokemon first, which is the point of the game. Then then after I catch Pokemon, then I wanna trade Pokemon with people. I mean trading would if they implement trading, I may start playing again because then, you know, I could Catching tons and tons of Pokemon now has is incentivized. You can potentially sell Pokemon to other players. Trade Pokemon with somebody, boost that Pokemon up a whole bunch, and then trade it back to them. And I just don't I don't think that but I don't think that they're working on the right thing. Like a I understand they want to make more money, roll it out in new countries. But the thing is, is that they've really, they've really got to make sure that people are going to want to play this for a long time. And it's incredibly frustrating to go out and be looking for Pokemon, seeing that they're nearby, and just not having, having no idea. Having no idea. You know, it's like... It could be... That... That Porygon is... 50, 60 meters... South of you. But it could be that it's 300 meters north of you. And so... If you go south and it's not south... And you know, you keep... Looking and you're like... Ugh. It's not a... You could kind of, you can kind of use the current tracking system to track Pokemon. Kind of. But it's, uh, it just doesn't work the way that it should. And, uh, yes, I guess I'm done. It's, it's, there's a reason that I'm not playing it now. And it's that they removed what was fun about it. Tracking down Pokemon. Because, yeah, you know what? Taking gems and training up gems and, you know, trying to hold gems for your team is kind of fun. But it doesn't have the same satisfaction. So, I don't know. Niantic, step up your game. Hire some more people or something. Seriously. Do some shit. Anyways, if you like the video, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like the video, well, fuck you too. But that's okay. Maybe you'll like the next one. You should subscribe anyways. Because, you know what, who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Huh? Don't judge, don't judge a channel by one video, huh? Huh? Anyways. Adios.